YouTube golfer. Hello, it's YouTube golfer here. Today we will do a DIY golfing mat, but that's gonna be a golfing mat on a budget. So the cheapest one we can actually get. First, what do we need? Stapler, some staples. Uh, those are 40 millimeters. Uh, longer, the better ones. These are the maximum which I can fit in this stapler. Training golf ball, the foam one uh, is very good. It could be the rubber one as well. We need some elastic, which is uh, more durable and it's not gonna uh, break so easily. I also have this tiny, a bit, I'm um, not sure how it's called in English. We also need like a rubber tees. They are very useful. I got them from uh, Amazon in, in a package like this, five of them. So we need hole making tool like this, a drill bit and a wooden uh, wood drill bit to, to make holes. It's a size 16 actually. This part needs to be same size as the T. And the whole thing, it needs to be the correct size for the base of a T. So it depends which T's you're gonna have. We also need a drill. We will need a scrap piece of something. There's a piece of laminate wood, uh, floor. It's gonna cover uh, our T. Uh, so it's gonna be the same thickness as the base OSB. We need also screws. Those are 50 mil, but it depends which material you're gonna use. The most important thing, a hot brew. I have some coffee because it's chilly outside so we need to keep warm ourselves. Okay so the rest are we have some underlay here it was a, a piece of wrap in some furniture it, it could be even a carpet piece of carpet because we have our artificial grass the most important actually I have some OSB balls here not very thick they are 12 mil but the point of this uh, is to use the materials you have so probably you're not gonna do exactly the same as I did uh, but you know we want to do it cheap so we have to utilize whatever we have the, the things which I had to buy were actually the staples because I had the only the short ones and the artificial grass and that's it and all the other stuff I had uh, oh and the teeth sorry and I have to buy the teeth okay so the base is actually a part of pallet so I had a pallet but it was very heavy a bit big and those were inside the pallet so I just strip it down and I took the four like joists uh, to, uh, to have the base and because I have only 20 uh, sorry 12 mil OSB board uh, these are actually the offcuts I had already uh, but it's pretty thin uh, so you know it's you can bend it easily that's why I did like a two layers uh, so the first layer is to make it a little bit more stable and the top layer will uh, make the surface uh, so yeah you have to align it that's how it was because I had to deassemble it because I, I haven't done this uh, movie uh, before uh, I, I already did the mat and uh, thought about the uh, video after afterwards so I just strip it down uh, so there are four aligned it, it doesn't have to be perfect but at least it's similar uh, similar distances top layer let's go in there it's like line there we go we have our base we have our safe surface so let's screw it down Okay, the next step is going to be 
to drill those holes. <laughs> I have them pre-drilled because uh, I did the mat before. I don't know what materials you're gonna have, but the easiest way to do it is to actually have two layers because the first layer you can make the hole in and the layer underneath gonna keep it all together. You could try to use laminate flooring or whatever you have just to have them holes to sink in the teeth. I, I just choose two places to have those teeth. One will be to actually hit the ball and the second one there will be like ball fixed to it so you can you know use your camera in slow motion and check where exactly you hit the ball uh, and you don't have to take it again and again and again and put it on the tee. Take your drill bit and drill it. Remember do it slowly so we won't drill through the base layer. You only have to drill through the top layer. When you already drilled those holes, one or two or how many you want, take the normal drill bit and you just have to drill through it. And it's very important because we use it later. So one of the holes have to go through both of the layers. So that's how it looks. So that hole goes through all the way down. We will fix the ball here. Uh, so the first layer is cut it through. The second one is here, still solid. The uh, layers are a little bit in the air. Uh, there is a gap. So we have the gap here. So we will have access to that hole from underneath. Okay, so we have the holes done. Uh, we will work with the teeth after that. So, a few staples just to keep it in a place. Uh, the other one's gonna go through the grass and the underlay, so just a little bit of staples here. I had the 8 mil before, but they were too short and they were coming off, so I bought the 14 mil, and they are the bad boys. There we go. Good to go around the hole. Because that's gonna be the place uh, where you will hit the most. So we have our underlay. Now just take a knife and put out a little bit of the hole to have access to the hole underneath and the hole from the top so you can can stick the um, the T through it okay it's time for our grass so mine is this size it works like that when you have the grass fitted and that's how you would like to have it. What I did, I marked down the center of the hole. You just take the drill, which like I showed you, is exactly the fi uh, thickness of the T, and just drill through it. You know, just drill through it. And you have your grass ready to be stapled down. Stay focused now and listen carefully because that part will be important uh, as long as we have the holes in uh, we can actually try to fit, to fit the teeth remember if you want to fix it and just have it fixed that's fine but if you would like to change the T size in the future, don't staple it here, staple it down here so you will be able to lift it up and change the T. So, whichever size you would like to use, you can just change to the different one. There we go, the short one. If you're gonna staple it here, you will have to rip it off uh, and you can, you know, break your grass. So, not the perfect solution. It's good to do 
a little bit of hole in the grass to get to the basic layer enough so you won't pinch the grass but you will also have the full staple going into uh, into the OSB you will also not get the staples out with the clip accidentally so let me show you how I do staples so we have the line here I try to dig onto the base of the grass no, keep it open not to catch any grass in there to have a nice layer and just you know have it solid it's nice to push uh, the stapler as well to have it as tight as we can I do it every like 5-10 centimeters should be enough if not you can always add some more staples you know not the professional golfing mat it's not gonna work on a driving range so just for the training purposes remember we have a second hole here so we have to do the line here as well We go and a beautiful walking mask. So now we have to work with teeth. Now we move on to the part where we will prepare filling of the hole over the tea. Yeah. Battery died. Okay, I've changed the battery and I'm ready to go again. All right, and that's what we're gonna use. It's not too easy, get it out. All right, there we go. that will be our cover. The next step is to drill a hole in the middle which gonna fit our key. So it's nice to use vise. You don't have to but it's gonna keep it tight and in place. If you don't have any you can do it but be careful not to hurt yourself. So again, uh, number 16, because that's the size of the teeth we have. If you have different size, you need to use different drill. And there we go. And we have a cover. We could Take the excessive because it, it broke, it wasn't drilled very well. But that's enough, you know, you, you could use a sandpaper or whatever else. And that's what we have now. And we did it because we want to fit the T inside the hole. It fits very tight, uh, which actually is what we're looking for. Uh, it will fill the gap between the top of the OSB and uh, um, and the T, but also it will make the base of the T uh, stronger, more durable. So I think it will last longer 
if we do this, uh, try to, you know, twist it. So that's what we're looking for. So I actually tried with a different materials and as you see, it's exactly the same thickness. So whichever material you have, uh, it's good to find the good thickness. You can always sum down uh, the excessive uh, amount of material if you have anything, uh, you know, thicker. If you have a tool which will help you to do it, yeah, why not? If not, it's better to find something which really fits uh, and you don't have to do anything about it. And that actually worked perfectly for me because the laminate flow without any modification uh, works good. So let's see how it uh, goes to the mat. Let's say I'm gonna have the shorter one here. So underneath one and second layer. And boom, fits very well. That's our T and it's, you can't pull it more than that because it fits perfectly and it levels with the, uh, with the hole. So that's what we are looking for. So the hole fits tightly to the base and it will stay in the place and it will be straight. Without it, it would, could be a little bit wonky, wobbly bobbly, but that way uh, it's gonna fit very well. And look how perfectly it fits. Look how good it is. And like I said, the same thickness as the base. If you have something which is thicker, you can just take out the underlay and you will still be able to have the level, the correct level. So yeah, it's worth to give it a try, you know. Uh, whatever fits you, you can try different materials and different solutions. Okay, so the part with a ball. We are taking a drills. We need one, uh, not so thick, to go through the ball and a little bit thicker to do the hole on the top. So the point is to drill the hole through the ball like that and the best if it's gonna be aligned with the line so you're sure that it's going straight through the ball. You drill the hole from the top which is slightly bigger and you need to do uh, some kind of you know uh, knots at the end and what I did is uh, to just light it up with, with the lighter because it's a foam ball it probably could go through it I also took that should help and just push it through I have to keep it small because I don't want to you know have a really big thing on the top of a, of a ball so yeah, it went through to that point where it's gonna stuck for sure and it's not gonna go through. And now you have to stick it through the ball. So the last part is to stick it through the ball. There we go. And because we made a bigger hole uh, on the top, it should actually get inside so we will have still a ball without anything on the top ah what I'm doing of course I did it wrong <laughs> keep it in mind that we have to stick it through when the T is already in because we can't get to the bottom otherwise. Ah, there we go. So we have that and we have to push it down through this tiny hole. So, you know what? I will try to do it like that to have a little bit more space in here. It went through. There we go. So we have it here. We can 
It can't be too tight because it will bend to one side. So we have to leave it like that. Alright, should be fine. My battery died at the end of uh, the last piece of video. So the last thing what we do when we have uh, a rubber band underneath, uh, I just screwed the screw in here so I'm able to tie it up on the screw to keep it uh, tensioned all the time. And that's it. You position it on the T, you can stick it underneath and, uh, and we can train. So I will show you how it works. Instead of being on the ground, I can step on the platform, which is same level. I paid for all of this around 20 quid, not even. Five these were around eight quid from Amazon. I paid five quid for the artificial grass and I actually got two and other pieces for free. Good tip, don't go for artificial grass warehouse or any other seller. Try to find a fitter who might have an offcut. You will probably get them for five quid like me or maybe even free. So that's a very good thing about it. I paid also for the staples because I had the short one only, but they were like five quid and the rubber band, but it was like ATP or something. So it was under 20 quid and we have decent golfing mat. I think it's worth to give it a try. Well done. So we just made a decent golfing mat, budget golf mat, uh, which we can use for a long time and it, which will help us uh, develop our skills. Go for it. If you're gonna do yourself, show me in the comments if you're gonna do video or maybe only photos. I'm really happy to see what you got there. Stay tuned, subscribe, hit the like button. See you soon.